Done. Couché. What's up, everyone? Andy Kruger here. Today's video pro tip on playing tug with your dog more specifically your Belgian Malinois. I want my Malinois to bite full and to bite hard. And not only that, every time I play tug with him, I want those muscles getting stronger and stronger and stronger. But there's a little secret, there's a little tip that you have to know to get the absolute out of your dog's grip. You want him biting, I see, you want him biting with the back molars, period. You don't want the frontal grip. You don't want it in the middle. You want your dog biting with the very back of their mouth because that's where the strength's gonna come from. That's where you're gonna build the muscle. So I got a little baby tug. I got a big boy, baby tug. This looks small, right? You could go even thinner, even smaller than this. This is what I have handy though. So quick tug session, pro tip, Get the tug all the way back in your dog's mouth and make them hold it with the molars. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh yeah. Here we go. Now for this, you don't want to be Mr. Willy Nilly doing this. Done. That's going to get your arm taken off. Bad trainer. Here's how you want to set it up. I see. Back of the mouth. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's a good boy. Right there. There's no, no further back it could be. And look, I pull it, and it doesn't slip up to the front of his mouth. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Done. See the teeth marks? So he's biting this hard, but he's biting it with the molars. If you do this and the tug keeps slipping to the middle of your dog's mouth, and the only thing holding it is their canines, you know they have a lot of work to do. Look at my boy, come on, son. We biting, baby, look at this guy. I like to, oh boy, huge mistake, caught it. Just kidding. I like to have him in a sit, and I put the tug right here. So when he strikes it, it goes all the way back into his mouth. Whereas if I do this, yes. done. Okay, well he did it perfectly. But if the tug's moving around and he's just grabbing it, less of a chance he's gonna be perfectly full. And I like the couple handles on here too. So he's gonna, I see. Yes, back of the mouth. Oh yeah. That's a boy. That's my good boy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Done. Yes. Done. Yes. Done. General rule of thumb for a tug, you never want to shove the tug into the dog's mouth. This is prey. This is supposed to be like a rabbit. A rabbit doesn't launch itself into the mouth of a predator. So you don't want to shove this in the dog's mouth, but, but you want them to get it all the way in the back and bite full. So if you look closely, I'm not shoving it in the dog's mouth, but I'm giving him a little yep, and then boom, just a quick, so he can crush it. Looks like this. Yes. So look here, bad grip right there. Very bad grip. Watch how I fix it. There's a boy. Nice. Nice. So if you if your dog's holding it like this and you can rip it out of their mouth, they're not biting. Done. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. Oh, yeah. Done. 
done. Now, Freddy's a big boy. I don't know how much he weighs. I don't really weigh him, but he's a big boy. So if I can pick him up and swing him around by the back molars, I know I'm developing a lot of strength there. Yes. Back teeth. Woo! Woo! And it's still all the way in the back. If you swing your dog around and the tug keeps slipping to the middle of their mouth, you know the bite pressure isn't good yet. Done. Yes. That's a boy. That is the pro tip right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is your goal. This is what you want. Couché. Rock solid bite all the way in the back of the bow. Good boy. Now you might be thinking, Andy, my dog's just a pet. I don't really care about how their grip is. And that's fair enough. But even so, even with that being said, doing it this way, it will get your dog a better workout. They will have to give done maximum output where if it's in the middle of the mouth, they can get away with being a little lazy and just letting their canines kind of hold it in place without having to really crunch down so pro tip okay we'll do one more couche rest yes yeah that's my boy done yes Whoa! Done. Yes. I'm holding the tug in a way to when he grabs it, he is flying at that thing and it's going all the way in the back of his mouth. Done. Yes. Bingo. That's my boy. Look at the grip on the kid. You ain't mad at that. You ain't mad. Done. Okay. Pro tip, folks. That's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Would love to hear from you in the comments. Get you a t-shirt. Link in description. If you like what you saw, patreon.com slash Andy Kruger. Go train your dog. Peace out. What is up, Patreon crew? Andy Kruger here. Great video for you. Brand new board and train. Six month old female Malinois. Literally brand new. My general plan is using positive and negative reinforcement as part of my crate training. You need a crate like that if you don't have one. Just kidding, yours is probably fine as long as it's not a wire crate. Wire crate, how dare you? But a six month old female Malinois, as you can see, she's not the world's most confident dog. She's not very food motivated. She was kind of free fed and overfed at home. So we're working on kicking that up a notch. But I think it'll be a great example of just a totally green dog and the very first steps I go through to get them acclimated, not only to the crate, but also to get her acclimated to how I roll. And you'll see what I mean. I do have a little bit of her kibble on me. You can check out the food motivation on her. Hey. You know, so it's there. I mean, she'll eat it, but she's not exactly ripping my hand off for it. She's never been in this particular crate. I've never done this exercise with her out here in the driveway. Of course, she's been in a crate before, so it's not totally foreign to her. I have a slip lead on her. Definitely don't need a prong collar yet. I got my little slip lead, and we're just gonna see what she thinks about walking into this crate. 